Limits, an intuitive approach, part four. Here we have the limit of a rational function as x approaches three. It's a two-sided limit. And uh, the first thing you try with a, a rational function like this, or any function really, you just plug in three and see what happens. Unfortunately, when you do that, you get zero on the bottom and zero on the top. And this is one of our indeterminate forms. So we're kind of um, forced into making some kind of a change to this function. Maybe we can manipulate this algebraically and, and uh, figure out what's going on. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I notice that uh, the top factors, and when the top factors, I can see, oh, look, I can cancel something out. This uh, rational function wasn't reduced, so it had a hole. In fact, it had a hole at x equals 3. And when I reduce it, um, I end up with uh, 2x plus 5. And uh, now I can plug in 3 uh, with impunity. In other words, this will work fine. The idea is that this 2x fi uh, plus 5 has the same points uh, on it. y equals 2x plus 5 has the same points as y equals uh, 2x squared minus x minus 15 over x minus 3. Okay, All the points are the same except um, uh, at 3, but we don't care what happens at 3, so uh, we just if we know where this function is heading, then we know where this function is heading. So I put in 3 and I, I get 11, and therefore uh, this limit that I started with uh, that gave me 0 over 0 actually gets closer and closer to 11 as 